Hello, everybody. Bet y'all weren't expecting a uh, Wednesday stream, eh? We're about to jump into it. The Wednesday stream is here. Let's get our loadout uh, situated. Also, it's not just one. It's not just one stream. We're going to be doing a stream with uh, Kill Clinton afterwards as well on Escape from Tarkov. So y'all are getting a double stream on Wednesday. Isn't that wild? We normally don't even do one stream on Wednesday. All right, let's go figure out what's going on with these bears. What do we got here? Couple female bears. Let's head up to this lake real quickly, see if we got anything up here. Nice, Taylor, that's awesome to hear. That is super awesome to hear. Hey, Blakester. Hey, Mass. Hey, Louisiana. Logan. Football lover. Anything outdoors. Mary, Louisiana. Foreman. Siv. Uh, Zachary. Cade. Jaden. Piggy Wowness. How's everybody doing? Hope you're all doing great. I've been doing good, Siv. I hope you've been doing good as well. Only killing one to two red deer a lake on my great one grind. Am I doing something wrong? Um... I mean, that's a very vague question, Hunter Boy. I, I won't really be able to tell if you're doing something wrong just based on the amount you're killing per lake. Uh, th how do you have things set up? Do you have multiple herds at each lake? Or is it like one or two from one herd at a lake? Like, there's a ton that I don't know, so it's going to be hard to answer that question. Hey, Deer Killer, hopefully. Hopefully we can get it, man. Hope you're doing good. Oh, no worries, Siv. And uh, that's pretty cool, man. Gunsmithing has always seemed like a pretty, uh, pretty interesting thing to get into. Got a few muleys there. That is such a strange looking rack. My gosh. What a strange looking muley. Yep, that sounds about right, Johnny. That's usually how it is. I had already finished a couple videos today, so I decided to jump on for a bonus stream. Uh, Stills VR, I would recommend checking out the beginner series that I've got going here on the channel. It's a, a full, like, beginner's guide playthrough. Right now, there's 11 episodes, soon to be a 12th. And uh, it should talk about, like, everything that you would need to know. Today's video that I posted is also a money-making related video. So I would definitely recommend checking out those if you want to know how to make money to purchase scopes. Three rare males and a great one today in the first hour. We'll see, Zachary. We'll see. I hope we get that lucky in the first hour. That would be absurd. That would be absolutely ridiculous if we could get that to happen. Well, since there's no bears here, let's blast this little guy right here. Oh, he moved. He moved. <laughs> hey, Reed. Hope you're doing good, dude. Did you miss anything? We just started, Alex. You have not missed a thing. We're just getting going. Are all bear species the same drink time? I don't know. I know black bear are the same on every map, but I'm not sure what the other species are like. I haven't really tried to hunt for them. I think the brown bear are in the morning.
Nice, Johnny. Hey, Ben, how's it going? Unfortunately, that's just part of life, Zero Savage. It happens. Only thing you can really do is just move on and try not to let it get to you too much. Though that can be hard at times. Just do your best to not let it get to you, man. There's a bear. Check the profile pic. Um, I can't really see it, so I'll have to click on it. Yeah, I can't. I can't tell what it is. Do you know how long until you stream with KC? We're gonna be doing some Tarkov at 7 p.m. So uh, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is when we'll start that up. So two hours and two minutes from now. There's no days off, Caitlin, when there's a bear grind to be done. No days off when the bear grind is still uncompleted. The best great one, bear? Oh, so like you just changed the way the spirit one looks? Gotcha, okay. Got a gold white tail today? Nice DM, that's awesome. Yeah, plus I had already finished two videos today, so I got a couple videos ready for uh, the next couple days. So I figured, why not jump on, do a little bit of a Call of the Wild before we uh, join KC for some Tarkov. Best Great One Whitetail? In my opinion, the Best Great One Whitetail is the typical rack. It's also the rarest one, so that's unfortunate. What fur type am I going for? I want to get the spirit, a uh, little Richard, with the chestnut being my second uh, favorite. Why aren't there any mule deer multi mounts? I don't know. I've always thought there should be. I don't know why they haven't added any. Really hoping that uh, within the next few updates, they kind of take a focus on more multi-mounts, because we really need a lot more variety. Currently, the multi-mount game has been uh, kind of lacking recently. Nice Eid, I hope you get your great one soon. Hopefully that great one won't take too long for you to get it. How does the typical rack great one whitetail look like? It looks very similar to the diamonds except with a few extra tines. One of my great one whitetail has half of that rack. It's like a 50-50 rack. One side is that, the other side is the small short rack. Is there a great one mule deer? Unfortunately, no hunter, there isn't. Hopefully one of these days we will get one, though. That's definitely one of my uh, most wanted great ones. You hope tonight? I hope so, too. I hope tonight is the night that we get this beautiful bear to show up finally. That's a pronghorn. That uh, threw me off for a second. <laughs> I was like, that's an oddly colored bear. Oh, it's a pronghorn. Feels bad. All right, so these bears are not at this zone yet, which I kind of expected. They're always super, super late. Let's run the coast. It's been a while since we've gone there. Been trying to get a second whitetail great one. Literally decided to grind some red deer for some quick cash and tree stands and got another great one red deer. That is amazing, dude. Congrats on that. That's how Call of the Wild works sometimes. It works in some very mysterious ways. Sometimes you'll be grinding for one thing, then you'll take a break and you'll get something crazy because you took a break from it.
Hey, Carrie, how's it going? You're bringing the, the bear luck? I hope you're right. Uh, yeah, Taylor, I'm hunting most of them. What I'm doing right now with the bear grind is I've got like half of my... I've got like half of my lakes that I consider to be like the best lakes on Silver Ridge Peaks for bears. I hunt those lakes every run. And then the rest of them usually only have one or two male bears. So I only hunt those like once every five runs or something like that. But I do end up hunting every single lake. Because the bears move around. Eventually some of the ones from my favorite zones start moving to the other lakes. And then I have to go through and shoot those at those lakes. And yeah, it's kind of just a whole process. Random bear track over here. That's a uh, middle weight estimate, so... Definitely worth trying to find him. I'm assuming he's got the drink zone over here. Uh, sadly, there is no fallow deer great one, but we're hoping that that will be something they will add soon. Also, guys, we are... Literally 10 subscribers off of 92,600. So we're definitely going to hit that during this stream. Hopefully we can even make it clear up to 92,700. That would be absolutely insane if we could make that uh, become a possibility. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel but you enjoy the content, be sure to do so and help us get to 100k. It's been good, uh, bro. It's been good. They need a goose great one? That could be interesting. I mean, it would be uh, cool to see like a goose attacking us. I kind of would love to see like an aggressive goose as a great one. Like an overly aggressive goose that's just really hefty. I think that could be kind of hilarious. Can't find no black bear zones on my map at all. A black bear are very late to their zone, so you will most likely have to wait a while for them to actually arrive. Typically, the bears don't start getting to their zones until the last half of their drink time. So you have to just run around for two hours while you wait for it to become the last half of the drink time. It's unfortunate, but that's just kind of how the bears are. Super late and inconsistent. Doing the black bear grind when I got bored of it, I go to red deer grind for money. Nice, that's the way to do it. That's kind of how I've always been as well. Pretty much any time that I was bored back when we were doing the uh, red deer grind more. Like any time that I'd get bored with that, I'd go uh, shoot something else or vice versa. Sometimes on the whitetail grind, I'd go shoot some red deer for a little bit just to get something different. And then on the uh, Beginner's Guide playthrough series, I've been bouncing back and forth between lions and red deer, so that it's a little bit, a uh, little bit of a mix-up every once in a while. Oh no, Samuel, that's not good. What birds can you only shoot in the air? Uh, the ptarmigan species, the bobwhite quail, and the ring-necked pheasant. I think that's all of them, right? Spawns a melon diamond red deer on beginner account? Oh, I hope not. I'd be sad if I got it on the second account. I, I want to get it on my main. Me too, Carrie. A great one, Muley, would be top notch for sure. How many zones do I have? I haven't been counting them, Grey Wolf. They move every single run, so there's not really any point in counting them. The only thing I know is that bears are at every single lake on Silver Ridge Peaks, except for Sun Sisters. That's the only lake I've never seen them at. They've been at every other lake for me.
I could, Charles, but that'd be difficult because in order to get that to work, I would have to have the game open twice, basically, which causes a lot of performance issues. And so I, I don't know if it would allow me to do that. And plus, I, I like to play it. I like to kind of play things how they end up. If I end up getting it on the second, we'll take it on the second. If I get it on the first, we'll take it on the first, you know. Excuse me? Pronghorn by the moonlight. A photo by Scarecrow. Gotta love it when they let you get a close look. Thank you, Zachary. Really appreciate that, dude. That's a cool thumbnail. Yeah, that'll make a phenomenal thumbnail. If only it was in the daytime, it would be even better. But it is kind of nice to get the moon in there. Overall, I think that's going to turn out pretty good. What's my biggest bear? I've got a max score diamond, uh, Ethan. Uh, there really is no set number for that, uh, Bronk. There's really no, like, set numbers for anything relating to it. How do I feel about Mississippi? Um, it's probably one of my least favorite maps. Primarily because of the way it's laid out. They've got all the other species drinking next to gators, which makes them just spook all the time. Um... The river is incredibly long and tough to hunt in places because it's extremely brushy. And the majority of the species are spread across the entire map, making it hard to uh, find a lot of them. Unfortunately, I think uh, I think Mississippi was a missed opportunity. They could have made it better. I, I enjoyed it the first month, and then after that, I started seeing a lot of the uh, things that I didn't like about it. It's still fun to jump on from time to time, though. If I'm just playing uh, with friends, then it's a great place to uh, jump on to. Literally just describe New England? Yeah, pretty much. The difference with New England is it's actually a really good fox and uh, raccoon map. So that's the saving grace for uh, New England, is the fact that it's really good for gray fox, red fox, raccoon, and also uh, bobwhite quail and pheasant. So I think that's the saving grace of that map. It's been good, Colin. It's been a good day. Got a couple uh, videos recorded and then decided to jump on here since it was still pretty early in the day. We're also going to be jumping on with uh, KC at 7 p.m. So you guys can expect a second stream today as well. Which is wild because normally we don't even have one stream on Wednesdays. Nice, Carrie. Oh, you did, Caitlin? That's awesome. I hope you guys had fun, though I imagine you probably did. What time is it for me? It's currently 5.11 p.m. Which is the typical rat great one? Uh, the second smallest one. It looks similar to the diamonds, but with a few extra tines. Died to a glitch. Oh gosh, that's the worst. That is the absolute worst. You see, whenever I hunt this coast, I never see the male bears. No matter how long I wait in the uh, drink time, they never show up. Like, look at that. There's at least two bears here, and we didn't see either of them. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Let's just hit up our main zones.
How many kills do I have? Uh, currently we're like, let me see. Let me find my little, uh, my little great one stat sheet. We're 3,350 kills into the bear grind. Hoping that today will be the day. Okay, no tracks here, which means there probably isn't anything at that place. That could be pretty cool, uh, Carter. Yes, Logan, you do. You have to get the vitals on the raccoon. At least it's a small bear, true. At least we're not missing out on anything too giant. What great one is the easiest to get? Red deer and white tail are about the same. They're they're definitely not easy. There's no easy great one, but white tail and red deer are probably the easiest too. But keep in mind that on average, it's still going to take a few thousand kills. I live in Oregon, uh, Alex. You like the legacy racks for the whitetail? I do too. I think the legacy racks were better. Definitely a big fan of the way they designed the uh, Legacy Whitetail Racks. Kind of wish that they would have just done the same racks for True Racks and then just given them the True Racks system, right? I think that would have been great. Hey, Drawn, how's it going? If I were to have any trophy, what would it be? Um, I'm gonna give you three because there's three that I would really like to get if I could just have any trophy in the game One a typical rack fabled piebald white tail deer great one a Typical rack fabled birch great one moose and then my third one would be a diamond melanistic red deer Those would be like the top three trophies. I would want to have in this game. Hey, we got a male here again. It's been ages since we've had a male at this lake. That's nice. Well, I guess we need to start checking here again. I thought the male had stopped uh, respawning in this area. Oh no, Hunter, that's not good, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Is it better to go on multiplayer for diamonds? Um, multiplayer and single player can be very good in different ways. I'm actually going to have a video kind of covering how to multiplayer hop efficiently as a lower level player as part of our beginners uh, series. So that'll either go up tomorrow or the day after. I haven't decided which one yet. Are level one male rocky elk rare? Uh, yes, they are. That is a very uh, difficult thing to find. Just about as hard to find as a uh, level one male bear. Guys, we are one sub off of 92,600. We're so close. It's been insane seeing the channel grow the last like week. It's absolutely crazy to see, especially considering normally January is a pretty slow month for all content creators. It's been wild to see that that really hasn't been the case this time around. Y'all have just been going wild with the subs. You have a level one bear? Nice, Nathaniel. They're actually more difficult to get than diamond bears. Hey, Thad, how's it going? Whoa, three males here. What? That's a first. That's crazy.
Dude, this bear is dodging everything. <laughs> I rarely have three bears there. That's crazy. Super awesome, though. We'll go grab those in a second. We got to go ahead and uh, hit up this lake. Otherwise, when we use the ATV, it's going to spook everything off. All right, so looks like it's just females here. Uh, yeah, Pickle, it's going decent. Me too, Corbin. A fallow uh, deer great one would be amazing. Not gonna lie, I feel like that's gotta be the next one. I feel like we're either getting a red fox or a fallow deer is our next great one. Seems like the most likely great one to get. Those two options seem like very likely ones. Because I feel like we have to get a Hirschfelden one. But I think the average kills for red deer per hour is. Um, for me personally, I can get about a hundred of them. But, uh, I'd say on average. If your setup isn't insanely optimized like mine is. Well, actually, it's not optimized anymore, but like mine was. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! That's a cinnamon bear! That's a cinnamon bear! Let's go! Level 4 cinnamon! That's crazy! Out of nowhere! <laughs> you love to see it! How many cinnamon bears is that now? Like six? Five or six since we started the grind back up? Insane. These cinnamon bears are just everywhere. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Where'd the other ones go? That's wild. Is cinnamon a rare fur type? It is, Logan. It is. No, I don't stream on Twitch, uh, Louisiana Outdoors. I used to, but I uh, stopped doing it a couple years ago to focus fully on YouTube. Well, that was an awesome little trophy to find. Nice, Colby. That's awesome. Congrats on your great one. Where did this last bear go? I'm starting to think I passed it, maybe. We had to have passed it. I mean, that's where we had the spotting thing disappear. There it is. Okay. Well, it depends on what point of the grind you're in yet, uh, hunter boy. I'm basing it off of a grind with 16 tents, tripods at every single tent, and, you know, knowing where all of my herds are, and then just playing as fast as I can, using tents as claiming tents where I don't have to walk to them, I just fast travel and claim them from the tent. That's the type of uh, thing I'm basing it off of. Nothing at this lake, but I mean we did just get three over there, so bound to have a lake or two that don't have much Uh, yeah, Brody, I've got the uh, mocha moose That's part of the other grind as well, Jackson. It's all one grind, right? Because we never actually got the great one bear, so it's still the first grind. We just picked it back up recently But it's been three diamonds since we started back up 
Hey, Levi, how's it going? I have no idea if we hit that again. Oh well. Uh, yeah, chicken, we got ourselves a cinnamon bear. Great one next run for sure. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah, we only got one there. Let's go check this zone. This is at a South American map. They actually already have one. Parque Fernando is a South American map. Bear aims highly contagious. It is, Caitlin. It is indeed. Got to be careful, careful, or else you're going to be missing seven shots on a single bear. Just like the ducky. It should come back, Kathy. I believe there's a second mission. If I'm not mistaken, I believe there is a second mission where you get to take it down. Welcome back, Kaluk. How's it going? You want them to do an Australian map? Me too. That'd be really cool. Definitely a uh, top five map choice for me. Do we have any male bears here this time? We have a female bear. You know what lake we haven't gone to in a while? This one right here. I'll bet you that some of our respawns are here. Ooh, that's not good, Corbin. That's not good. There's not? There should have been. I feel like there was. Oh, you get a choice to either take a pick or shoot it. Got you. Okay. I guess I just chose to shoot it then. Hey, Thomas, I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. Let's see what we got here for bears. Let's uh, hang a wide left over here. Later, Savage. What kind am I using? I'm using the 300 Magnum. It said invalid target and made me take pictures. Are you sure it wasn't your dog? Because your dog would make you say, uh, that would make it say invalid target. Why is the bear clear up there? That's not where it's supposed to be. Gotta love it. Gotta love when the bears are out of their zones. Oh, you didn't miss anything, Cole. Besides a uh, small cinnamon bear. Nothing too crazy, though. <laughs> well, that's a bear. Too bad the other one wasn't down at its zone. Otherwise, we could have got a two-piece there. That would have been nice.
little level six. Thank you, Brody. I'm glad you enjoy it. What is the best way to get rares? Shooting a lot of the species that you want to get a rare as, or doing multiplayer hopping. Those are a couple of the really good ways to do it. Nothing there. Was that not vitals? That wasn't vitals. We must have hit spine. Must have been a spine shot. Uh, no, Pickle, I haven't. I played the first one, but not the second one. You think an Asia map would be cool? Oh, definitely. I think that would be cool. I'd like to see a map in pretty much every part of the world. As long as it gives us new animals and a new type of environment to hunt in, then I'm all for it. You got your great one, Whitetail, and 200 kills. That is crazy, Hunter 12. That's crazy. That is some insane luck right there. I already told you you didn't miss much except a cinnamon bear, Cole. I, I already told you twice, actually. Not sure if you missed it or what, but I already told you. I hear footsteps. Female bear. Got a bad case of moose tame right now. Unfortunate, Richard. Unfortunate. But hey, if you watch enough scarecrow uh, streams, you're bound to start aiming bad. It's contagious. You watch me miss 50 shots, and then next thing you know, you're missing 50 shots. There we go. At least we didn't miss that easy shot right there. If I had missed that one, that would have been terrible. <laughs> hey, Seadox, how's it going? Want a new map with new animals? Me too, please. I don't know, I feel like what killed New England on release was the fact that there was no new species. Like, uh, New England, the hype for New England died so fast. Because there was no new animals. If they had just gave us a couple new animals, I feel like uh, it would have been a much better release. I feel like much more people would have been happy with the map. You want one that has tigers in it? Unfortunately, I think tigers are illegal to hunt unless they are actively, like, harming nearby villages. Like, if they are killing people, then you can hunt them. But if they're not, I don't believe you're allowed to. So I don't think we'll ever get tigers. You forgot about New England? My point exactly. My point exactly. Ooh, mythical and a seven. That's pretty awesome.
think it's just those two. Yeah, squirrels would be great. What about a giraffe? Uh, yeah, I think giraffes could be cool. I believe giraffes are going to be in ultimate hunting when that releases. Trail cameras? Yeah, trail cameras could be cool, especially for grinding. Honestly, trail cameras would become a very normal part of my gameplay if they ever added them. Um, I would love the ability to be able to check some of my outskirts bear zones where, like, I don't normally go to them because there's only one or two males. But every once in a while, a few respawns from my lakes that I normally hunt will stray off to, like, this lake over here. Normally, I just have one bear here, but sometimes... There'll be a couple there, so it'd be nice to have a trail camera so I can see, like, where my respawns decided to go each run. That way I know exactly where to go. I feel like that would be an awesome use for them and a good way to implement them. But to be honest, Dylan, it would be the same in Way of the Hunter. Because uh, Way of the Hunter uses need zones as well. You always know where the animals are going to be in Way of the Hunter. Really, the only variance is uh, the fact that they have two zones that they can use. Versus Call of the Wilds, just like a single zone. But it would essentially be the same. Muzzle loading pistol? That would be nice, uh, Pioneer. I'd probably prefer some uh, different bolt action rifles before that, but I, I would eventually like to see them add something like that just so we have one three male bears here this time wow we're finding all our males at least that's good a double moose mountain me too i can't believe they didn't do that oh gosh we had the glitch we had the we had the invisible bullet glitch, the non-existent bullet glitch, the shooting through the animal glitch. Ah oh, man. You hate to see it. How does that happen? Yeah, 17 HMR would be a good option. You want to get a great one yellow perch on Layton? Oh, yeah. Happy birthday, Kobe. Imagine polar bears. Polar bears would be great. The Hunter Classic has them. I don't know why we don't have them here in uh, Call of the Wild. Is there albino foxes? There is. Both fox species have an albino. Uh, what do you mean, Liger? What somewhat new fishing game? What game are you talking about? Also, I got a question for you guys. How many of you have watched a game called The Forest? Have you guys ever uh, watched the game The Forest? Okay, it seems like most of you have seen The Forest. Well, Sons of the Forest is going to be coming out somewhat soon, I believe. Like, within the next month or two months. I think it's coming out in February. Um, would you guys be interested in seeing me play Sons of the Forest? Because I think that could be a fun thing to stream. It's essentially going to be The Forest 2. And for those not familiar, it's a survival game where you're essentially uh, crash landed on an island with cannibals and you're trying to fight for your life and survive and uh, figure out what's going on and a way to get back home, basically. That's kind of how the first one is. That's kind of the whole point of it, right? 
And it's got a lot of like a survival crafting elements where you build your base, you fend off the uh, cannibals that are there. And you have to, you can like hunt and fish to get food. It's a very fun game. And yeah, the second one's gonna be coming out soon. And it looks beautiful. The game looks so amazing. And so if you guys are interested in seeing me play that, we might make that our second streams instead of uh, Tarkov. Like we might do some Sons of the Forest streams instead of Tarkov. Has anyone, anyone know how to change my button when I accept the animal fast? Um, it should be the same for everybody. You can rebind your keys. Hey, see, so might have played it. He played the forest a couple times. He played it with uh, me and I believe Hollow Crow and probably Caitlyn as well. I think. Maybe. I don't remember who all was playing. I know. Yeah. Yeah, Caitlyn was there. And so was Hollow, I think. Or was it David? I don't remember, but <laughs> we played it before. Oh, he streamed it solo, gotcha. I guess I wasn't playing with him then. Dogs that flush pheasants, that would be great. Add fishing to the game? No, they're never going to add fishing to the game. They've already got a fishing game called Call of the Wild the Angler. They wouldn't add fishing to Call of the Wild. Because there's already a separate game for that. Plus, Call of the Wild can barely update the hunting part of the game without introducing a ton of bugs. I couldn't imagine them trying to implement fishing to the game. The game would probably just self-destruct. Yeah, I remember that, Caitlin. I'm trying to remember who else was playing with us, though. Welcome back, uh, Scriptic. There should be more Gamers United, usually between like 60 and 75 for all maps. You want different dog breeds? That would be cool. Retrievers would be nice. Does Brobra have a channel? Uh, yes, he does. He does indeed. Which dogs would retrieve small games like, or small game like rabbits and ducks? Yeah, that'd be nice. Though I don't think the current dog would be able to do that. I don't think it would make too much sense with its breed. But I'd like to see them implement new dogs that can do that. That'd be good. Okay, there's a bear over here for sure. Yeah, Crocs could be cool on Verhonga. <laughs> the way the bears just kind of like stop like they hit a wall whenever you kill them on the run. It's beautiful. 
No, he's seen we haven't. We have not got a great one bear. But we're making a push for it. We'll get it eventually. We got this, I believe. We're on Silver Ridge Peaks, uh, the Call of the Dark. Nothing down there once again. What's up with that, huh? Where's our, uh, where's our black bear, huh? Guess they're hiding from us. Sometimes if we fast travel down here, we'll see a couple, though. Let's try. Nice, Gavin. That's crazy. That is pretty insane. Sounds like you've been having a pretty lucky grind. Just shot a level 9 lion. Hope it's a diamond. Hopefully it will be, Charles. It's going good, Grayson. It's going good. Imagine a big rack albino great one moose. Oof. That'd be awesome. That'd be so cool. You know what's wild to think about for the Great One Moose? Technically, the big rack is the quad paddle. Because it's the rack that you get on the uh, high weight estimate ones. Like, the heaviest Great One Moose is the quad paddle. So it is technically the big rack. Even though it doesn't look like it. Uh, no, Hunter Smith, you didn't really miss anything. We got a cinnamon bear earlier, but it was a level four. I don't know if you were still in here when we got that. Eight months ago. Hello, bro, bro. And you on the force? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. ART Gaming, how's it going, man? New England should have had Wolverines. That would have been cool. Definitely would have been a good addition. How many kills am I into the grind? Uh, 3,350. What sports do I like? I don't really watch sports anymore, but when I did, I pretty much only watched the NFL and NCAA football. That was pretty much it. Nothing there. Again, we're just checking our main zones towards the end of the time. Do you watch NASCAR? No, I don't. I've seen a little bit of it in the past, but it's not something I regularly watched. Can we get it? Can we fast travel? There we go. Thank you, Grayson. I try my best. I think there was just one bear over here. And he's in our tent. Amazing. Uh, no diamonds tonight, Kaluk. We've had three diamonds in the last, like, week and a half.
No bears here still. This zone hasn't had a bear all night. I'm guessing that they've just kind of moved to different zones in the area. So we're probably going to have to shoot a few of them out of these other zones first. Thank you, Winter Spring. Any tips on getting more rares? Really, all there is to it with rares is just shoot a lot of the species that you're trying to get a rare of. And just hope that eventually you get a rare to respawn. The other option is you can do multiplayer hopping. Multiplayer is a great way to get uh, rares and diamonds just because you're seeing populations of animals that you normally don't see. And so every time you go to a different server, it's going to be a different uh, population of animals you haven't seen before. We got two of them. Great one tonight. We'll see, Corbin. We'll see. I think we got this. Do you like pizza? Of course, BC Games. It's my favorite food in the entire world. You can literally make pizza into anything you want it to be, which is why I love pizza. So many combinations of stuff you can do with it. I don't even know who's like in the playoffs, Louisiana. I Like I said, I don't really pay attention to sports anymore, so I have no idea who's even in the playoffs. No, Oliver, we're not. Let's go to, you know, let's hit up this lake before it uh, gets too far past the drink time for them. Because we're like four minutes past the end of their drink time, but they'll still be kind of moving away from the zones. So let's attempt to try and pick up a couple of bears from this lake as usually I get here before they do. And so I never get to take them down. Hopefully we can pick off a couple now. Usually they're kind of like right here and honestly in fact, I might need to move this tent I feel like it's in a terrible spot The more I think about it. We need the tent over here. I Don't know what I was thinking putting it right here uh, She's already shot one Zachary She already shot one of my great ones. I'm gonna shoot the bear myself because I've never killed one. Thank you, RT Gaming. It's crazy to think that just last night we were at like 92.3 and now we're at 92.6. That's wild. Y'all have been just killing it. We're currently at 92,615. I bet we can get to 92,700 before the end of the stream. I think we can do it. Nice, Henry. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, go for it, Caitlin. Go for it. What is the most common rare? Oh, uh, that's a tough one. I'd say one of the more common rares is piebald whitetail. I see those a bit more than I do other rares. I believe this is a bear zone. It is. This better not be a male. Female? Female. Okay, we're good. Female? Yeah, it's just two females. We're good. gonna say if I've been missing out on a male over here I'll be sad but it seems like it was just a couple of female bears how rare is a piebald blacktail they're pretty rare 
No, Logan, we're not going to anymore. We're uh, we're rethinking what our 100k celebration is going to be. To be honest, I have not decided what we're going to do. I want to do a uh, big collaboration for 100k. As I feel like that would be a great way to celebrate the milestone. But uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can uh, get something worked out. Let's try something. Let's do the last hour reset method. Set it back one hour and check. Nope. It never really worked good for bears. Let's try main menuing though. Taylor, thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, possibly, Fred. We shall see. Twenty-four hour stream for a hundred K? We might, Logan. We might. Honestly. I might do something crazy, guys. What would you guys think if we did like a 12 hour stream to try and push up to 100k? I don't know when we would do this. I'm thinking like maybe once we hit 95 or something like that, do a 12 hour stream to try and push all the way to 100. I think that might be a way to do it in kind of like spectacular fashion. I think that could be fun. And do like a variety of things during the stream, not just one grind, do like multiple grinds. See what we can accomplish, you know? Uh, it depends on what your goal is, Adam. If you just want to get, like, the great one, then really any method will work. You guys want to see that? Okay. We'll try it. We'll see if we can do it. I'll have to plan ahead uh, quite a bit for something that big, though. I'll have to make sure that uh, my body's ready to do a 12-hour stream. Because uh, 12 hours of sitting and staring at a monitor, it's tough on you. Especially when you've got a kid like I do. <laughs> It can be tough to do, so we'll see. No zone here. We're just kind of bouncing through all the main zones instead of... Uh... Though I don't think this one hour reset's going to work. I don't think putting it back just one hour is going to work. Best gun for Whitetail? Um, the 308 and the M1 are both really good. Both of those are top of the line Whitetail rifles. Yeah, we'll definitely need to do a full time reset. Uh, yeah, JT, that's what I just said we would do. What the? Well, that time reset got some bears here quickly. Maybe I just need to be... Oh, there's a bear there, too. Maybe I just need to be at this lake when I do my time resets. Seems like that worked pretty good. I'm glad to hear this stream is making you feel better, Dan. Hopefully you get better soon. What do we got over here? Level five. Man, it's been a while since we've had a diamond, guys.
It's been a while since we've seen a diamond bear. Hoping we can see at least one tonight. Cause it's been a while. Man, has it been a while. I mean, I didn't know it was having that issue, Bryce. I've only had that issue with the 300 Magnum. For me, it's only been the 300 that's having that issue. Oh, I definitely will, Emma. I think when I do it, it'll probably be on a Saturday. What are you gonna hunt on the 12 hour stream? Um, not sure. Probably a variety of stuff, because there's no way I could do 12 hours of just one species. That would drive me crazy to go 12 hours with just one species. We would probably make it a mix of bear, moose, whitetail, and maybe just some random stuff like feral pigs. That might be what we do. Thank you, Harrison. It'd honestly be weird not having any bugs in Call of the Wild. <laughs> I mean, it'd be it would be nice, but it would be uh, strange for sure since we don't really ever see situations like that where there's no bugs. That's honestly sad to say. I do still need a diamond peccary. I do still need a diamond one, so that, that is a good idea. I still don't have a diamond. Alright, let's see if we can use our time reset method to get the bears here. I've tried this a little bit. It didn't work super great when I tried it before. <laughs> right as I say that, it works. Well, I guess it works for the bears this time around. Maybe it's one of those things that works part of the time. But not all of the time. Thank you, Dan. Hopefully we will. Have you ever just stumbled across a diamond rare? Oh yeah, plenty of times. Primarily in multiplayer. I've also had some situations where I've been grinding like whitetail and then found like a piebald moose that was running um, behind where my whitetail zone was. Like little things like that. Thought that bear did a 360? I did a backflip, I think. Best map for server hopping? Whatever map you're the most familiar with. That's really all there is to it. There's not a specific map that is best for multiplayer hopping. It all comes down to what map you have the most knowledge on, what map you have the most outposts unlocked on. You know, things like that are more important when it comes to what is the best map for you to multiplayer hop. Whichever map where you know like all the hot spots and the drink times and stuff like that, those are gonna be the maps where you'll have the most success multiplayer hopping on. Nice, Bryce. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's try setting the time back a little bit. See if it works again. It worked last time. Will this force our bears into the zone? It did. We got a level three there. We somehow saved that. Crazy.
If you mess up the great one, Black Bear's main menu, because it would likely be because of the stand-up glitch. Oh, I'm not risking anything with the bear. If if we get the great one, Black Bear, to spawn, I'm not shooting it with anything that's gonna risk messing it up. I'm gonna shoot it from a distance with the 338. Not gonna get close enough for it to know that I'm there. Where do you get the range finding bow sight? The high tech hunting pack. How would I feel about a northern Canada map? I think any Canadian map would be good. I'd just like to see some more species that are available in Canada. I'd like to see something like the doll sheep added. I'd like to see another map for black tail deer, another map for Roosevelt elk. There's a lot of a lot of stuff that could be really cool with a Canada map. Yes, Hunter, I do. All right, later, TTK. Hope to see you there, my dude. It should be a fun one. What's the easiest diamond to get? Mountain lions and turkeys are pretty easy for the most part. I'd say mountain lions are probably the easiest diamond in the entire game. But I'm sure some people probably have different experiences. That's kind of how it is in Call of the Wild. All right, later, Heather. Thank you for uh, dropping in. 17 great one, Black Bear. <laughs> I bet. Nothing there. Yeah, Wildebeest is another one. The Wildebeests are pretty easy to get a diamond of. Just because there's a lot of uh, max weight of smith level 4s that have a chance at making diamond. Alright, I don't think this time reset method's working at all. Let's just, uh, let's just do a full run like we have been. Instead of trying to time reset until they show up. It's not working. Not working at all. Let's just go through our route. Um, I've got a ton of guides on the channel that would help you out with that, Adam. Nothing there. Let's head up here. They should add more starter maps. Like, uh, do a free map. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know if they'll ever do it, but I'd like that to happen. Because I do think we need more free content in the game. Currently, like, all the updates are in the form of DLC for the most part. Besides this most recent one, it did have a lot of free stuff. I, I would like to see them do more free stuff in the future, that's for sure. But I don't know if a map would be something they would do for free. I feel like they would uh, make all maps a paid DLC. Because maps are the biggest money maker and also the... Uh, most expensive to design as well. No, Packers, we didn't get a great one yet. No great one tonight. I'm not expecting the great one bear grind to be a quick one. I can't recall anybody ever having a quick bear grind. Even I buy took like 5,400 kills to get his first great one bear. I think Lady Legend's really the only person that got one quickly, and that was like, what, a thousand kills? I have yet to see anybody get a super quick grind for the Great One Bear. Besides very, uh, very few people who got super lucky. 
Yeah, like Caitlyn right here. 700 kills in two months. And ended up getting her great one bear. We're not that lucky though. It was 6k plus. I thought it was like 5400. Maybe it was 6k, but re regardless, that's insane. Like when you think about that compared to other great ones, that's wild. And I think a lot of that has to do with just how difficult it is to get big bears in general. Like with the bears, uh, even diamonds are pretty rare. Normally on a grind, you can average one diamond every hundred kills for like red deer and whitetail. With bears, it's more like one diamond every two to three hundred kills. Taylor, thank you for the super chat once again. Level one bear. Oh yeah, the level one bears are what we're really here for. Those are the true great ones. Hey, JJ, how's it going? You totally took 10 kills? I bet, man. I bet. Your red deer took 23,500. That is insane. That is crazy. Three diamonds and five cinnamons in your first grind? Yeah, it seems about right. That seems about right. Hey, Jordan, how's it going? Hey, Duxton. Welcome back, Johnny. Best map for... Wait, where did that where'd that one go? Where'd that message go? Best map for the great one, Red Deer Grind? Tiabador was probably the best. Have you ever killed a diamond albino lion? No, I haven't, Pickle. I've killed a few uh, albino lions, but never a diamond one. I think my best was a level seven. Almost at 500 kills. Nice, Brody, nice. You got this, I believe. Any bears close? I think it's just pronghorn right now. Seems to check out. It's always the pronghorn, man. I've done a trophy lodge tour just a couple of months ago, Ethan. Got a diamond albino cape buffalo. That is insane, Logan. Hey, Liam. Happy birthday, dude. How many days since the last diamond? Uh, two, I believe. I believe it's been two days since our last diamond bear. They are few and far between. No bears there. Let's uh, try our new tent out here. Or I guess new tent placement. Are there any animals in the big crater on Medved? Yes, Gavin. That's actually a spot where there's a lot of uh, moose drink zones. It's actually a really good spot. Nothing there. Been a while since we've been down here, so let's go check it out. Is brown hybrid rare? Uh, no it's not. I don't think it's rare for any of the species that have that, uh, variation. Unfortunately. Got the bison hanging with the turkeys? What's going on here? 
We got some sort of alliance forming. The turkeys thought they were a bit too small and couldn't uh, compete with the bears, so they had to make an alliance with the bison. Sure seems like that's what's happening there. What is considered a big diamond red deer? Anything 267 plus I consider to be a big diamond red deer. Point two six away from diamond. That's unfortunate, Carter. It happens, though. I've had a lot of troll level 9 lions. I think half of my level 9 lions have trolled me. Got my great one moose there in Medved. Nice, Levi. That must have been a cool place to spot it. Getting it in the crater would be awesome. Uh, to be honest, I don't remember every map that's in uh, the Hunter Classic Mast. I haven't played the game in a while. I don't really remember all the maps in the game. You got a 267.89 Diamond Red Deer. Nice, Benjamin. That's a good one. That is a very good one indeed. Pronghorn again, no bears. The bears are always so late every run. I wish they would fix that. I wish they would make it so if you change the time to their drink time, they're in the positions they're supposed to be instead of mid travel. That would be amazing if they would do that. Uh, what guide in particular, Adam? A guide for what? Pronghorn there. Whitetail? Um, you should just be able to type in Scarecrow Whitetail Guide, and it should bring up all Whitetail Guides that I have. Uh, Brayden, thank you so much for becoming a member. Really appreciate that. Enjoy the perks that come with that, the, uh, emotes, the extra Discord channels, and the scrapped uploads on the channel. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No tracks over here. There could be one over there, though. Gosh, we haven't been here in a while either. We'll have to go there towards the end of the time, so hopefully if there is something there, it'll be in its own. Best map in my opinion, Tiawaroa. Whoa, a bear there? That's insane! We haven't had a bear there in ages! That's nice to see. A map and an animal and a night to hunt for. Um, map and animal. Let's see. I'd say, how about, I mean, black bear on Silver Ridge Peaks. 
Why not? Since that's what we're doing here. Hey, T2, how's it going, dude? Um, if you click on it, it'll actually give you the information mast. If you click on the, um, the join button, it'll, uh, it'll give you the rundown of everything that comes with each level. Small mail. As always. Right in, thank you for the super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Super generous of you. Uh, yeah, Escape from Tarkov, Liam. That's about the only uh, game that I've been playing recently aside from Call of the Wild. Eventually, I might try to jump into some Warzone 2.0 with KC. Because, uh, he's been really into that recently, and... Might be fun to get into it with him. Holy Cade, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. That's super generous of you. Thank you so much. Or actually, that's a super sticker, not a super chat. Thank you so much, man. That's very nice of you. Hope you're doing good. Hope your day's been going great. Oh, no, Caitlin. That sounds about right. You see, that's why I never play with randoms in uh, Battle Royale games. Never ends well. Female bear, do we have a male respawn? Probably not. Oh, we do, nice. How long has this stream been going? A little bit over an hour. Oh my God. All right, later, Taylor. I live in Oregon, Hunter. It will eventually, Louisiana. We're not sure when, though. It does that automatically, Scott. It it goes up on its own. I don't actually control it. Yeah, no problem, NBS. I figured the video need to be made because uh, I know a lot of people don't really even consider the soft point ammo for any of the guns because it's regarded as not being as good as poly tips. So I figured it was a. Uh, video that needed to be made. I feel like us content creators and a lot of people in the community as well always get caught up in what's the best of the best, you know? What's the best gun? What's the best ammo? What is the best map? What's the best animal to hunt? What is the best uh, map to hunt this specific animal? That a lot of us forget that there is a lot of other stuff in the game that may not be the best but is still good, you know? And so I want to highlight some of that stuff in my videos. And for today's video, it was those uh, 243 soft points because I feel like the fact that they're free does make them a viable option for money making, especially early on when you're a lower level player. We have not shot a bear here all night. What's going on with this zone? They just being stubborn? Or what? I 
Uh, Brayden, thank you so much for the super sticker. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. No, I don't, uh, Yannick. And, uh, Aaliyah's doing good. How do you spot the bears in the tall grass? Uh, you don't. Or sometimes if you zoom in, hold the, like, spotting button and then zoom in and out really fast, sometimes it will spot them in situations where it normally wouldn't let you. Not vitals, what? Vitals now. <laughs> Get wrecked, you silly bear. Me too, Drawn. I, I just wish they had a little bit more penetration, but I get why they don't. They're not really supposed to. It's just unfortunate that you cannot take any type of a, like, off-angle shot. It has to be broadside or else they just simply don't work very well. That's the only drawback for sure. Brayden, thank you so much for another super chat. Really appreciate it once again. How long have I been playing? Uh, since the pre-release beta back in 2016. Been playing the game for quite a while. Oh yeah, definitely drawn. Definitely. Yeah, in real life, uh, soft points are very common. I use, uh, I use soft points in real life. But, uh, in Call of the Wild, they just made them not nearly as good as they are in real life. How many kills am I at? 3,352. A little bit more now because we killed probably 20 bears today. It's a slow grind though. I right, no problem, madam. Saw your first level one bear of the grind? Nice, nice. Or are you talking about the YouTube short? I think you're talking about the short. Hope you enjoyed it. Nothing to that zone. Let's try this again. Let's see if they're here this time. It definitely isn't, Johnny. They start drinking at 20, Asher. 20 is when they start drinking. Are there any bears here? I don't think there is. Nothing there. We'll see if we got one here. Is the drilling rifle worth it? Yeah, it's a good option. It's a decent rifle. Female bear. Man, this is the most inconsistent my bears have been in a while. Uh, we're getting less and less at the main areas we like to hunt. And uh, I don't know where they've gone. Like, going to all the other lakes every once in a while, but they just don't seem to have any bears. Makes me wonder where all my bears have gone.
Two bears there, but no mail. Let's go to this one. Any luck yet? Nothing yet, Silver. We did get a uh, level four cinnamon, but that's been about it. Been the only like super notable thing today. Longest grind? It definitely is, which is to be expected. The bears are very tough. The bear grind is regarded as one of the most difficult grinds in the entire game. And uh, the Great One Black Bear is one of the most, like, uh, top-level trophies. It's a trophy that not many people have. But I don't expect this to be a uh, quick grind. I expect this to take a very long time. Oh no, Scott, that's unfortunate. It happens, though. Hey, I'm just saying, Otsego, if you don't, uh, if you don't go against the rules, Nightbot won't be, uh, getting you like that. Might help to just read the rules and, uh, follow them. Things might go a little bit more smoothly then. How do you see those cinnamon bears? Oh, I don't, Jamo. Uh, we we killed it and then didn't notice that it was a cinnamon until we got up to it. That's happened on like three of my six cinnamon bears from this grind. We've had uh, six cinnamon bears since we started back up, or five or six, and three of them I didn't know they were cinnamon until we got up to them. Nothing there. Man, where's our bears? Also, guys, we have gained 50 subscribers during this stream, and we're almost, we're already almost to 92.7. That is insane to think about. I have been blown away at just how, how many new viewers we have gained every single stream. We're going to get to that uh, 100k milestone in no time. All thanks to you guys. Female bears there. Oh, that's a male. Any more? I think it's just him. Oh my gosh. He's going down. Uh Brayden, thank you so much for the super chat again, dude. Really appreciate it. Was just watching your short and where you shot a moose 50 times and saw you live. Nice, dude, nice. I still can't believe that that happened. That thing was just tanking him. That moose just did not want to leave me alone. The whole backstory behind that actually was I wasn't trying to kill the moose. That was when we were doing our grind for moose great one on Medved and I didn't want to shoot any female moose because sometimes if you shoot a female moose while you're shooting your males, they can like swap zones with each other and like mess everything up. And so I was trying to spook it off and just get it to leave me alone without killing it, but it uh, it, it just wouldn't leave. And so I ended up shooting it like 50 times.
the 223 needs a huge buff. In my opinion, the 223 is probably one of the most lackluster and underperforming guns in the entire game. What's the most people you had watching on a live stream? 1.5 thousand, I believe, during Way of the Hunter. That was when Way of the Hunter was having its, uh, like, creator early access. Or maybe it was 1.4. It was either 1.4 or 1.5, but that has been the craziest numbers we've ever had. You didn't miss too much, JD. The only thing good that we got was a level 4 cinnamon bear. Uh, Brayden, thank you for another super sticker. My gosh, man, you're just, just hammering us with this support. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nice, Adam. That's awesome. Whoa. Turkeys. <laughs> hey, no bears here this time. We're going to go all the way down to this lake, though. Because that lake uh, we haven't actually been to in a while. Uh, Taylor, thank you for a super chat, dude. Really appreciate it. Y'all are just being too kind. Y'all y'all are just too kind. I really appreciate it. I hope to see you guys in the uh, second live stream we're going to be doing in about 25 minutes. We're going to be joining Kill Clinton for some Escape from Tarkov. Should be a fun time. Random bear up there? Okay. Wait, that's a big pronghorn. Where'd he go? That one. Oh. Not as big as I thought, but... I mean, he looked big. Yeah, definitely leptin. To be honest, 223 and 243 both need an increase in power. So does the 270. All three of those guns... And, and the 6.5, really. All of those guns are very underpowered compared to their real-life counterparts. They either need to increase the power of them or make stuff like Whitetail more fragile. Because there, there's no world where a 270 wouldn't just drop a deer. Brayden, thank you for the super chat again, dude. What's my favorite map? My favorite map is Tiabaroa with uh, Silver Ridge Peaks being number three and Revontuli being number two. Any male bears here? Probably not. Yeah, female bear. Probably no males in this area. That has been the trend. We're not seeing as many male bears as we were before, even though we're checking some of the areas that we haven't been to recently. Unfortunate. Uh, for the most part, Logan. Am I ever going to grind for a great one on Rev? Maybe eventually. I don't know. The only reason I haven't done Rev on Thule is because the Whitetail were always really spread out and could be literally anywhere. No, you do, Levi. You definitely do need to pick them up because if you don't, I have noticed that on average the people that don't pick up their kills take longer to get their great one. So you definitely need to claim everything if you want to have the best chances of getting a great one. Seems the majority of people that do no claim grinds take at least twice as long to get a great one. 
Though I, I don't recommend doing no claim. All right, guys, we're just going to do a quick little uh, search of all of our main zones since we're getting close to the uh, second live stream of the night where we join KC. We're probably just going to try and real quickly check all of our zones to see if there's anything notable. Now we got a couple males here. Let's boop these two. There we go. Plus it gives money back for time resets. Exactly. If I did no claim grinds, I'd be broke right now. Did I? Huh? Um. <clears throat> Where's my ATV call the wild? Huh? Where is it? <laughs> what the? What is this? What type of sick joke is this call the wild? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we're not going to get those because I still got to check the other zones before we end the stream. Beavers ate it? Apparently. Just nothing in sight for my ATV. What the? Excuse me? <laughs> That's not normal. That's not normal at all. I'm scared now. <laughs> I'm scared now, so I'm staying away from that. Luckily, there's no bears here anyway. My gosh, what was that? What what was going on there? Delivery guy got the wrong address? Something. Definitely not normal, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Definitely not a normal situation there. Female bear. Okay, no zone here. We'll check this zone one more time. We haven't seen a single bear here this entire night. It's going good, Jacob. We got a cinnamon bear. So we at least got one trophy tonight. No, nothing. That lake's been empty all night. That's so weird to see. What game am I playing next? We're going to be playing Escape from Tarkov with Kill Clinton. It's a uh, like hardcore survival uh, looter shooter. Got him. Uh, no, I love hunting. We have not. It's not a matter of can't, Kevin. It's a matter of we just don't want to. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, jump off, guys. I appreciate everybody being here in 18 minutes or maybe maybe half an hour. It'll probably take us a little bit to get going, but around 7 to 7.30, somewhere in that range... 
We will be starting up a stream with Kill Clinton, so stay tuned for that. It'll be happening very shortly. But until then, thank you all for being here, and uh, yeah, thank you for getting us to 92.6k subs. Really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace!